What's up guys, welcome back. I'm gonna be doing a quick video. I'm just showing my collection and I'm kind of just testing out the new cinematic mode on the iPhone. So I'm just gonna kind of go through what I have at the moment. And it is September 30th, um, so this is what I currently have. But we'll start in the back. Actually, let's start on the left side. So you got uh, Gucci Memoir, Dunador. Um, really good stuff, kind of green tea vibes um haven't reached for it um in a while since it hasn't been cold here i prefer it in the colder time than in the fall um, and then over here we have the six banana republic scents that i made a video on a couple months ago talking about all of them so if you missed that one check it out but beautiful colors coming in through the window here and then same little type of rainbow colorway over here going on with my bath and body work scents these are good price scents for 100 mil most of them are clones or some of them are clones of popular fragrances i believe midnight um i think from 2019 is kind of like dior sauvage you got coast ocean cypress and freshwater which is an aqua di Gio clone and then Noir, which I love, and that one's kind of like DNG's the one, I, I believe. Um, oh, never mind, sorry, Bourbon's like DNG the one. I'm not, I don't remember what Noir is, but that one's really great as well. And then going on to this one, it's Banana Republic Classic Red. There's not much information about this one, but it's a nice unisex kayak wood fragrance. Um, really inoffensive and easy to wear. And going back over here, we have my Tom Ford collection. I just recently um, sold two of them, and they were the um, the Fougere, the Argent, and Fougere Palutine. So I got rid of those to get something else. And uh, But here is Noir Anthracite. This one's incredible. Um, discontinued, but it's... Uh, hidden gem that not many people know about. It's just Sichuan pepper, nice and spicy. Another discontinued gem here is Tom Ford's Extreme. This one just skyrocketed in price again. So yeah, um, I'll see. I'm gonna try to score another bottle if I can find it for a good price. That way I can hold on to it. But um, I haven't worn this one in a while either. It's really great though, but it's kind of hard wearing it if you know you're not going to get another one anytime soon. And then here's the rest of the um, private blend collections that I have. Um, I haven't reached for this one in a while, although I love it. Same with this, kind of wait, waiting for the weather to cool down a little bit. And Beau de Jure, that one's incredible can't go wrong with that same with lavender extreme um going on to the next brand we have the labo which i have let's see eight now i just got my eighth one on my birthday two days ago and i went with uh queer 28 beautiful stuff i can't i mean i've only worn it twice but it's so addicting Kind of reminds me of the texture that Santal 33 provides, like a rough texture from the sandalwood, but instead of sandalwood in, in the Korea 20, it's leather. And it's just really good stuff. I'm really glad I, I was able to get a hand on that. Here's the other city exclusive from Seoul that I got last year. And we have another 13, which is great. As you can see, I've used a lot of it. Same with Musk's 25, the Los Angeles exclusive. And then Benjo 19, Moscow exclusive. Julie 24, one of my top three scents of all time. Probably my signature scent or one of my signature scents that I go with. Um, although it doesn't look like it, but it's a... Pretty nice dent, I'd say. 
um, Lab Denim 18. Love this one. Haven't reached for it because it's more of a cooler weather. Although, although I do love wearing it to bed sometimes. I've probably mentioned that before. But And then this one, 328. Beautiful color as well. I love it. Ah, so good. I'm um, going on to next brand. We have Chanel's. We have Le Leon de Chanel and Coromandel. Um, wear these quite a bit, actually. As you can see, that's a pretty good chunk. Um, really easy to wear, both of them, in my opinion. Um, so, been doing a pretty good... I've been wearing those quite often over a lot of these other fragrances that you see over here so i love those chanel's i'll try to get another one by the end of the year maybe around christmas time again um i'm not sure which one i'm looking at i did love jersey when i sampled it so maybe jersey maybe boy um unless they surprise drop another one this year but i doubt it we'll see and then shalimar over here e edt found this one at Marshall's a while back. It was on on the clearance section for forty dollars. So I was like, I need to get that one. So got the EDT version. I think it's from 20, 2016 or twenty eighteen. I don't recall, but there's Shalimar. And then this is another birthday gift that I got. Uh, Diptyque Kyoto's. So this is my first Diptyque that I own. I've been eyeing a lot of them recently, but never pulled the trigger on one. But glad this is my first one. It's kind of an exclusive limited release. So this will be gone uh, soon, but really nice rose and incense, kind of fruity with the beetroot. So really good stuff, perfectly unisex. So this is Kyoto, came wrapped really nice too, but love the bottle as well. Nice red. And then going back to this side, we have my Diaz and Durga collection here. So we have Burning Barbershop, which I made a video on, and Burkiso, which I always recommend to people who love really, really dark fragrances with uh, amber incense, maple. That one's really good stuff. Really heavy though, but beautiful scent. Uh, we got Mississippi Medicine, which is another one of another favorite of mine. I haven't reached for it in a while, but doesn't mean I, I don't like it. I, I love it, but I gotta be in the mood for it. Uh, Debaser is, um, I haven't talked about Debaser yet, but really good fig scent, um, rough texture and just really breathable, really likable, good stuff. Perfect pretty much all year round and perfectly unisex as well. So this is another easy pickup if I don't know what to wear for the day. This is something I go for. And then we have DS. I've talked about this one in the channel as well. Um, beautiful fragrance, um, kind of like a dark, floral with with some ouds um kind of india inspired so that's the ds dylan i made a video as well beautiful leather and, and roses as well so really good stuff unfortunately not that many people ever get to smell this one same with magnolia city um really cloudy juice that's kind of how it smells but beautiful pulpy floral for this one. Bleeding Heart Patchouli is another really good patchouli fragrance. Um, yeah, just a nice, bright, green, straightforward patchouli right in your face. Lasts forever. And yeah, I love that one. Desert Print Brush I actually wore today. That was my scent of the day today. Went to go get some groceries and was trying to figure out what to put on. Um, I didn't want to do Clear 28 because it's kind of hot outside. So um, 
It was between this one actually and this one. So ended up with desert paintbrush. Needed to give it some more love. Made that. That was my most recent video, I think. But um, yeah, just good stuff. Um, really interesting and unique. Something that I like in fragrances. I like to stand out a little bit, but I like it to smell good. And I love the smell of paint. So there you go. Um, Vanilla Van was something I was reaching for a lot this past fall or I don't remember when I picked it up but I was using it almost daily and kind of put a big dent in it um, right away but then I decided to start saving it but beautiful fragrance everybody loves it I always get compliments on this one and probably out of all of them this is probably the most complimented one I get um, beautiful dry down to um, we got Dries. I don't have much left in this one. Love it. Um, but I think it's getting discontinued. Or it did get discontinued, but super good stuff. Um, if I didn't already have a lot of other fragrances here that were dark like that, then I would definitely get another bottle, but I'm going to leave it like that. And then going back to the rest is my Frederick Mall collection. So on the very left here we have Carnal Flower, beautiful white tuberose, white floral. I'm sure you guys know about it, but good stuff. Nice eucalyptus opening. It just kind of has a, it dries down to a pretty really creamy floral. So that's good stuff for the spring. Honestly, anytime um, I'll reach for that one. Same with this one with Edis Buddha. It was on my top 10 pickups of last year and this is some good stuff um, just nice aldehydes and powdery fragrance as the name suggests super good stuff uh, French lover I love um, <laughs> no pun intended but um, I love it and so this one's also a galbanum based just like this noir anthracite um although this one the tom ford's a little spicier um, with that sichuan pepper and i i'm not sure which one i perform prefer more no uh, noir anthracite's really good get your hands on it if you haven't skip some good stuff before it disappears forever but french lover good stuff um noir at peace is great um kind of complex that's why i've never made a video on it or not complex into where it's changing all the time but it's hard to pick up some notes and it's hard for me to describe it but it's just a really good spicy not too spicy fragrance with some like citrus and it's just pretty good all year round to be honest i that's another one I reach for when I don't know what to pick, so. Nori Peace, um, Portrait of a Lady is uh, one of my favorite fragrances of all time. Has a special place in my heart. I mean, Patchouli Rose, come on, can't go wrong with that. So good stuff, love wearing this one. This one always gets compliments as well probably like nine out of ten times someone's gonna make a comment on this like oh my god what is that i need to have that so, there's portrait of a lady next synthetic jungle which i made a video on ab about um when it came out and i've worn it a few more times since and i like it i mean i was kind of disappointed in the video because i was expecting something different but um, now that it, the hype has kind of died down on it, I'm learning to appreciate it more and I, I'm a fan now. Whenever I spray it on myself at the beginning, I kind of get like a cigarette smoke vibe, which I didn't get before, so I don't know where that came from, but kind of like an ashtray at the beginning, so it's kind of weird. I'm not sure where that's coming from. Uh, Musk Ravageur, I had another bottle that was maybe like 60% full. So I sold that one to a friend who loves Musk Ravageur. 
and I ended up trading a Tom Ford fragrance for, for this one. So I was happy to do that, to get my hands on it again and basically get a, a refill. Love this stuff. Um, definitely gonna be my top 10 like of all time. So good stuff right there. In Florida Cassis, another great Ropion fragrance. Love this one, although it is kind of dark and it's hard for me to confidently pull this off considering it's just very different from anything you can get your nose on. The florals are really in your face and rough and textured. So um, I've worn this in the heat and it performs really well, but I'm gonna see how it performs in the fall coming up or whenever, whenever it gets colder, I'm gonna start pulling that one out more. And then we have The Night, which I still haven't made a video on, but 10 out of 10 from me. Uh, basically, it is Portrait of a Lady, but instead of the patchouli, you have just rose and oud, and it's just really good stuff. <laughs> whenever I first got it, I just kept sniffing it out the bottle but oh my god so good i love this one all pricey obviously so it's used on rare occasions now maybe like a night out or a dinner but even then i have so many other things to choose from so very very rare that i'll pull this out and wear but if i want to make a statement and i want to just feel good about myself then i'm gonna pull out the night and then going along with the last one here is The Moon, which is another 10 out of 10 for me. So Julian Raskinet, The Moon. This one gets comments, again, nine out of 10 times that I wear it because it is so loud in your face and everyone's always like, what is that? Um, so. Really good stuff. It is loud though, so if that's what you're into, then go for it, which I am. Although this one might be pushing it, but um, saving this one as well for some occasions. Went to a concert the other day and pulled this one out. I figured it was the right time to do that. So um, excited to wear all these coming up in the fall. And then I have a few mini bottles here from Monsieur. So. Frederick Malls Monsieur, which I love and I need to get my hands on. So that's another 10 out of 10 for me, which I need to pick up soon. Um, I was going to pick that up recently, but I ended up with Synthetic Jungle since it dropped around or right before I was going to buy Monsieur. Other ones on Passant, really good stuff. Um, I'll pick a bottle up eventually. Not a priority for me, but it's really good as well. Rose and Queer, though, is something I want to pick up within the next couple of months. Can't get enough of this one either. It's really addicting, and I mean, got to add another rose to the collection, right? And then I got a sample of Geranium Pour Monsieur whenever I bought Synthetic Jungle, and I've been kind of wearing this, and this is a really good old-school masculine scent in my opinion just i don't know brings back some memories something like my dad would wear or something like that but good stuff um so i'll, I'll definitely pick up these three somewhere along the next year or so but monsieur is probably the the priority but there you go um i have a lot a bunch of more samples on in a big bag um, lots of Chanel's and another bunch of random brands that I have. Some more La Labo samples. But, yep, let me know if you have any questions on any of these. Um, I'm happy to comment and reply to whatever you guys want to know. Or if you want me to make a video on any one in particular. Alright, thanks for tuning in. Let me know how the quality looks. Might do some more quick videos um so i don't have to pull up my my camera over here but yeah 
I'll see you guys later.